The End of Days by Jenny Erpenbeck is a complex and thought-provoking novel that explores the different possibilities and outcomes of an individual's life in different contexts and historical periods. Through the use of multiple narrators and timelines, Erpenbeck presents a panoramic view of the 20th century, focusing on the lives of ordinary people and the impact of major historical events on their personal destinies. The novel is divided into five parts, each representing a different possible version of the protagonist's life. The story begins in Galicia in 1902, where an infant girl is abandoned by her parents and left to die in the woods. However, she is saved by a passing noblewoman and is raised as her own daughter. The girl, who is given the name of different girls in each of the five parts, grows up to experience different fates and relationships depending on the political and social context of the times. The first part of the novel is set in Austria-Hungary before World War I, where the girl, named Katerina, is raised in a wealthy Jewish family. She becomes a maid in her own house, falls in love with a revolutionary, and is executed for her involvement in a socialist uprising. In the second part, set in 1918 in Vienna, the girl, named Elizabeth, becomes a communist and is arrested for her beliefs. She is later released and marries a young man who dies fighting in the Spanish Civil War. In the third part, set in East Germany in 1961, the girl, named Ruth, becomes a successful writer but is persecuted by the communist regime for her political beliefs. In the fourth part, set in a unified Germany in the 1980s, the girl, named Greta, lives a comfortable middle-class life but is haunted by memories of her past and the possibility of different outcomes. In the final part, set in a dystopian future, the girl, named Lara, is a refugee fleeing from a war-torn country and seeking refuge in Europe. Through the different versions of the protagonist's life, Erpenbeck highlights the role of chance, circumstance, and historical events in shaping an individual's destiny. She also explores the themes of identity, memory, and the power of storytelling. Each version of the protagonist's life is told in a different narrative style, from third-person omniscient to first-person stream of consciousness, and each reflects the political and social context of the times. Erpenbeck's writing is precise and poetic, with a lyrical quality that adds to the emotional depth of the novel. She also uses repetition motifs to create a sense of continuity and interconnectedness between the different versions of the protagonist's life. For example, the image of the abandoned baby in the woods reappears throughout the novel, serving as a symbol of vulnerability and possibility. Overall, The End of Days is a powerful and compelling novel that invites readers to reflect on the complexities of human existence and the ways in which our lives are shaped by larger historical forces. It is a testament to the power of literature to illuminate the human condition and to provide a means of understanding and empathy across time and space.